Ready, hon? I'll set my love. Please envelop this entity so completely in love that all needs, wants, and desires are chosen. Mm. And greetings. Greetings, wonders. Greetings, Peggy. Would you please go to whom, to where, and to when you are directed? Would you please locate your facilitator, Maggie McGuffin Gadat, on May 14th, 2007? Mm. Yes, we have you. We are gathered here at 8361 11th Line, our number two in the town of Thornton in the province of Ontario, to do a reading for the Wonders Hour radio show. May we begin? Please. Thank you, Wonders. Um, tonight, could we explore the dysfunction of food in the North American and world's diet? Yes. Okay. Will we? Well, yes, but what would you like to know about <laughs> it? Well, I would like to know about, um, say something like uh, genetically altered foods. How does it affect um, the body and humanity? Uh, the key is this. Understand that your body is designed to nurture itself. That's what it was designed to do. Mm -hmm. It was designed through with its own consciousness to bring about a self-nurturing that would allow it to maintain itself for a long period of time without any adverse reaction to it, without any need for interference, without any need for... Um, interference is a good word here. Do you see? Mm -hmm. That's what it was designed to do, provided, of course, it received that which was be perceived as the nutrition necessary to maintain itself. Now, in your scientific community, as a result of certain scientific perspectives of the last 100 to 125 years, there has been a movement within your society to create a model, a scientific model, of what the body is and what nutrients is required to maintain the body. Analysis has been made, study has been made, mm, to observation has been created to mm, find out what it is that the body needs. And these particular nutrients have been classified, categorized, and defined as minerals, as vitamins, mm, as essential fatty acids, etc., etc., etc. Well, good to a certain point. But what, mm, what is being missed here is the body is being examined part by part to analyze what each part requires, not the whole. And so there's a term it, holistic perspective that is flawed here. The body needs nutrition, needs certain nutrients, but these nutrients are not found only within the food that is eaten. These nutrients are found in the environment in which the body places itself in. And so, a lot of these nutrients come from mm, food, yes, water, absolutely, earth, definitely, and air, mm, which is often overlooked. So, mm, the result in is you find yourself with a certain supply of food, but if the air that is breathed is or the environment, the air environment that you are in is compromised, is denatured, is flawed, or it has an overabundance of certain harmful chemical perspectives, then no matter how good your food is, the body still has to react to this particular stimulation from the environment. And in doing so, it must now overcompensate it cannot receive the full nurturing that is required. We have done a number of series on the body. For example, the health series, of which forms the basis of the health book. An apple a day keeps the doctor away is another series. Food and its effects on your body is another one. Let's get fat is another one. Do you see? Mm -hmm. Many series that we've completed, many times we've spoken on the subjects of health and food. But we have spoken again in terms that would give you a general perspective of the benefits of food, etc., etc. 
And we certainly planted the seeds, but nobody's ever asked us about the totality of the environment. Mm -hmm. And that's what's been missing here in this exploration. The food that presently exists for the majority of human beings throughout the planet is food that in some way, shape, or form has been so altered and shifted as to create, hmm, call it a denaturing of the nurturing value of the food itself. The chemicals that you now find yourself struggling with in the air that you breathe also affect the plants and as a result affect the food. The chemicals that you find in your water that is so denatured also affect your plants, also affect your food. And so the result is that as a body, as a human body, attempting to ingest sufficient nurturing to maintain itself, it has become more and more difficult in the last 100 years for the body to maintain itself in such a fashion. You have mm, such a mm, large mm, denaturing of your global environment that virtually every source of mm, nurturing that the body requires has been compromised through chemical, artificial chemical, structures that have, as a result, limited the ability to nurture the body. And this isn't rocket science, we assure you. Mm -hmm. You grow food in soil that has no enzy en enzymatic function left. It has no nutrients within it. Oh, you implant artificial chemical nutrients to replace the natural nutrients, but by the very structure of the chemical nutrient itself, you are reducing the value of the mm, nurturing of the food itself. It may look like a broccoli, it may mm, smell like a broccoli, and it may taste like a broccoli, and your scientists would argue, therefore, it is a broccoli, but we assure you it is not sufficient nutrition for the for the food for the body you see mm -hmm. now the chemicals is in the earth water comes from the sky goes down into the earth leaches these chemicals into your water table you also have a around your planet a number of different methodologies that you use to eliminate waste. However, within this waste is a number of chemicals that are ingested by your cells. And we explore this, by the way, in the Let's All Get Well Soon, an exploration of Health Perspectives book. Mm -hmm. We would suggest that you avail yourself of that book to a greater extent. But what happens is the food that you ingest, which is full of chemicals, goes into your body, you process it, you pee it out, shed it out, the next thing you know, you've got waste coming out of you, it goes into your soil system, it goes into your water system. You also have a variety of different chemicals you're ingesting directly, antibiotics, mm, or birth, or hormone pills, birth control pills, a number of other chemical structures uh, for depression, for et cetera, et cetera. Prozac, Viagra now is being prescribed abundantly. So now you find yourself with all of these chemical residues going into your urine, out of your urine, out of your poop shoot, as they call it. And the next thing you know, it's in your environment. It's in your water system. It's in your food. It's in your earth system. Do you see? Mm -hmm. So now it's in the water. The water evaporates. The chemical goes along with the water up into the air. It evaporates. And now here it's in the air. It becomes a molecule that you're breathing in. So now as a human body, you are ingesting through air, the, the same chemical that you're ingesting through water, that you're ingesting through food. 